Part 2, AR Use in Education. Evidence has been found that integrating AR technology into lessons can have positive effects on student learning, including increased engagement and motivation, a platform for students to exchange information and work collaboratively, and positive effects when using AR to improve literacy skills. The advent of new technology is making the use of AR in the classroom a realistic possibility. Possible classroom application of AR technology ranges from simple iPhone apps to larger scenario-based gaming simulations that are carefully designed based upon instructional design theories. Let's take a look at some technology that's useful in the K-12 cl classroom and beyond. There are many free AR apps for the iPhone and for other smartphones. AugMeasure overlays a ruler onto images taken on the iPhone's camera. It allows the user to measure short distances of up to 30 centimeters. Wikitude displays pertinent information about the landmarks near you, including wiki articles, geotagged Twitter posts, ATMs, and more. It works best in larger cities where users have tagged more points of interest. Pocket Universe overlays a star map onto the night sky. As the user moves the device, measurements are given for altitude. It also shows constellations that are below their horizon and invisible without the app. The Spyglass app includes features such as a compass, GPS, and rangefinder, which are displayed against video taken by the camera. It also tracks the position of the sun, moon, and stars. By using a black marker card and a screen-mounted webcam, a desktop computer software can superimpose and manipulate all sorts of di digital images. The computer recognizes the location of the cards and moves the image in sync with them. AR games and simulations. These exciting applications of AR involve creating a fictional scenario that's played in a real physical location with the support of mobile devices. These complex games typically integrate instructional design philosophies such as constructivism, game-based learning, situated cognition, or problem-based learning with AR technology such as mobile devices or GPS. AR game Mad City Mystery. Mad City Mystery is a game designed with versions for students in grade 4, middle school, and high school. The game is a murder mystery played in the local schoolyard. Teams of students are presented with a narrative scenario in which a character, Ivan, has died due to a combination of toxic chemicals present in the environment and or foul play. Each student plays a different role, a medical doctor, environmental specialist, or government official. The goal is to determine Ivan's cause of death. Students work in teams with GPS devices. When students move to a determined physical location, the GPS triggers the release of a small chunk of information about the crime in multimedia format. Each student receives a different but incomplete piece of information depending on their role in the game. They must share this information together to form hypotheses and solve the crime. You're looking at a design map showing the locations of different characters in the game as well as the information they provide. You can see that some provide information for hypotheses, some are victims, and some provide different types of quantitative evidence to help solve the crime. Mad City was designed such that students would think as scientists, they would use real science inquiry skills, they'd experience authentic resources presented in the text and media information, they'd see processes in the environment as interconnecting and would use scientific reasoning skills, and that students would use 21st century literacy skills. There are many other applications for AR use that you'll see in our mini-course across the curriculum, such as visual mathematical models, interactive chemistry, physics, and other science applications, or literacy.